Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to share a trick with you that I personally use whenever I'm stuck uh, with ideas. So first let me play you the song, the track that I'm working on right now. So everything is fine, I kind of like the groove and the way it's moving. I like the whole idea. But I still am stuck with what to do in the intro of the track. So here's what I usually do. Here I have an audio clip. It's a simple saw wave. And I want to use it somehow in this section. And if it sounds good, I'll probably use it later on in this section too. So what I do is I'll double click this. I'll see to it that the warp section is on and I've selected beats. Then what I will do is I will go down here and select one of these numbers like one by four or one by eight. So let me show you what I'm trying to do here. After I select the number, I'll go here and I'll select this arrow on the right. And then let's play this, let's loop this and play this clip in solo. So I'll play this. And as I'm playing, I'm going to reduce this number and just hear what is happening. So now Ableton is creating this rhythmic one by fourth pattern for me. And if I change the number, the pattern becomes faster. And if I increase this number, this works like a gate. So I'll go here and I'll select 1 by 16 and decide on a good value that I like. So let me play it with the track. Let me pull it back. I like it that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go inside here. Then I'm going to go here and make sure that the clip is selected here. And from this drop down menu, I'm going to select transposition. Next, I'm going to go click B on my keyboard to select the draw tool. And then I'm going to transpose the values here and try and get some good pattern going. So two semitones up here. I will try and do three. Let me hear it. Let me just solo this. Yeah, and this one I will go five. Now let's play it again. Yes, you can hear what I'm trying to do. I'm getting some amazing gated arpeggios from one single saw wave. So what I'm going to do is select only this much and I'm just going to press command D, command D on my keyboard to copy it. And now let's hear it. All right now, let's just duplicate this file. Let's hear it with the track. All right, so let's design this a little more. Let's add a auto filter and let's move, let's play this clip and move this cut off to where we like it. Yeah, I like it somewhere there. Around 309, yeah. Okay, now what I want is I kind of like this over here. So I'm just going to duplicate this and then I'm going to go and open the automation. I'm going to click on this cutoff knob and as soon as I click, Ableton shows me that parameter automatically in the automation section. And then let's draw the automation and let's see how it sounds okay so let's hear this
Wow, this sounds nice. It's just that in this section, I want the filter to drop down. Great. Now let's hear it with the whole track. Perfect. I love it. Just let's edit the sound a little more. Let's add some reverb. Just let's set the DK right for our track. And uh... amazing. Let's add some delay with the echo. Okay, one by sixteen. Then let's set it to ping pong. Perfect. Now let's hear it with the entire track. Remember, this was the clip that we started off with. In fact, I can actually, let's do this. Let's go here, go to the automation again. Uh, click on this, yeah, let's, let's put it up for the intro. Perfect, let's hear it with the track. So this is the trick I personally use and I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press that like button and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see you in the next video.